These freezing temperatures can also cause problems for drivers. 22 News reporter Tamara Sikarzik is working for you tonight with advice to keep your car running. If you try starting your car this weekend, you might be out of luck. Last year when it was cold like this, my car died. But this year I'm trying to, hoping to avoid that. Jeff Davis of Enfield is one of many drivers who spend their Saturday in preparation mode, filling their tanks and testing their batteries to avoid an unexpected trip to the auto body shop. Just keeping it running, actually, just making sure that it, you know, I'm driving it and it's not sitting so the battery doesn't die on me. A car's battery can lose up to 50% of its capacity in sub-zero temperatures. Sandra Marcian of the Pioneer Valley AAA told 22 News they see an increase in battery service calls every winter. AAA says if you're worried about your car's battery dying, try turning off the radio and unplugging any electronics. These things can drain your battery quicker than normal. Drivers also have to worry about their gas lines freezing in sub-zero temperatures. AAA says you should keep between a half a tank to a full tank of gas in your car at all times, a step that's already second nature to many New Englanders. I'm going to fill it up with gas. That's about it. But I'm from New England. I've lived here my whole life, so this kind of weather is not unusual for me. The Pioneer Valley AAA is expecting to get around 300 calls on Sunday, which is about two or three times busier than an average day. They're doubling the amount of operators and drivers that usually work on weekends to prepare for the deep freeze. In Springfield, Tamara Sikarzik, 22 News.